Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether the series converges or diverges with the help of the comparison test. Let's get a better feeling for what we're summing by writing out the first few terms of our series. So we're summing 1 over root of n times 6 of the n as n goes from 1 to infinity. So we have 1 over root of 1 is 1 times 6 to the 1, so 1 over 6, plus when n is 2, root of 2 times 6 squared, plus 1 over when n is 3, root of 3 times 6 cubed, and so on. So we have a series of positive terms, which is why we can apply the comparison test. And now, the question is, well, with what other series will we compare this series? So we're summing here the terms 1 over root of n times 6 to the n. This is the first sequence that we're trying to sum over. And we now want to compare this sequence with a simpler sequence. And if you look, part of a n gives you a p series, 1 over n to the 1 half. Part of a n gives you a geometric series, 1 over 6 to the n. The question is, which one do we keep, which one do we drop? Well, root of n is large when n is large, but 6 to the n is much larger than root of n, right? We have here a power of n, here an exponential function. If you recall our discussion about hierarchy of functions, exponential functions are much larger than power functions. And so these terms that we're summing are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and what makes them so small is the 6 to the n more than the root of n. So we'll try here and keep the 1 over 6 to the n and drop the root of n. If we can accomplish this, then we'll be left with a geometric series, which we know how to handle. So let's see. n begins at 1 up to infinity, so clearly root of n is larger than or equal to 1. We can multiply on both sides by 6 to the n as it is positive. So root of n times 6 to the n is at least as big as 6 to the n. This is strictly positive, so we can invert both terms. Therefore, 1 over root of n times 6 to the n, and when, of course, you invert both terms, you have to reverse the inequality. If this term is bigger than this one, then 1 over something bigger will be smaller than 1 over 6 to the n, and as I've just said, we can write this as 1 over 6 to the n. And now we have a simple geometric sequence, and this is now our bn, our simpler sequence. This is the sequence an. The original sequence we're trying to sum over. This is now the new, much simpler sequence, as it is a geometric sequence, and now we can apply the comparison test, which again is simply the comparison idea. So there it goes. So if a n is less than b n for every n, then clearly summing up smaller terms will be smaller than summing up the larger terms. But we know exactly what happens in this series, or at least we should know. As this is now a familiar geometric series, so we are summing from 1 to infinity consecutive powers of 1 over 6. This is now a geometric series where r is equal to 1 over 6. And in absolute value, this is still 1 over 6, which is clearly less than 1. So we have a convergent geometric series, therefore this is simply a real number, so it is less than infinity, it is finite. And we could here be satisfied with saying this is strictly less than infinity, as it is finite, but we'll go one step further and we'll evaluate the geometric series as a reminder, because not only do we have a simple test to tell us when we have a convergent geometric series, when we do have convergence, we can find the exact value that the series converges to. And if you recall, the exact value is the first term 
when n is 1, we have 1 over 6, so the first term, over 1 minus r, and r is also 1 over 6. So what are we left with? 1 over 6. 1 minus 1 over 6 is 5 over 6. If you divide by a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. And in the end, you're left with 1 over 5. And we don't really care again that this series is exactly 1 over 5. All we really wanted was that this series is finite because it converges. And now we're essentially done because the original series, and I'll rewrite a n as again 1 over root of n 6 to the n, is a series of positive terms. So either it is finite, therefore converges, or it is infinite, therefore diverges. But this series is at most this convergent geometric series, which is simply 1 over 5. So the initial series is bounded by 1 over 5. So this series is finite. And we know that when we have a geomet not a geometric, sorry, but a series of positive terms, again, it either is infinite or it is finite. If it is finite, it converges, and so the series converges. So we can go back and say that this infinite series of positive terms converges by the comparison test. So we'll just write C T. And you see that we compared the original series with a geometric series. And the whole point is when you compare a series that you're not sure whether it converges or diverges, the one you compare it to, well, you better have some kind of knowledge about this new series. And usually, we will compare the original series, if we use the comparison test, we will compare it to either a geometric series or a P-series. That's it.